I'm done. With this question? No, I'm, I'm done with COVID. Oh, I'm done. It's yeah. like I I went so hard on COVID. I, yeah, I remember. sprayed the Pringles cans that I bought at the grocery store, stripped my clothes off because I thought COVID would be on my clothes. Like, I did it all. I watched Tiger King. I got to the end of Spotify. Like, we all did it, right? And, no, no, we did not okay, do it. Well, well, here's the thing. A lot, no, of us, no, a lot of us did do it. And then we were told, you get the vaccine. You get the vaccine and you get back to normal. And we haven't gotten back to normal. And it's ridiculous at this point. I know that so many of my liberal and progressive friends are with me on this and they do not want to say it out loud because they are scared to be called anti-vax or to be called science denial or to be you know, smeared as a trumper. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you believe the science, you will look at the data that we did not have two years ago and you will f find out that cloth masks do not do anything. You will realize that you can show your vaccine passport at a restaurant and still be asymptomatic and carrying Omicron. And you will realize, most importantly, that this is going to be remembered by the younger generation as a catastrophic moral crime. The city of Flint, Michigan, which is 80%, I think, minority students, has just announced indefinite virtual schooling. In the past two years, we've seen among young girls a 51% increase in self-harm. People are killing themselves. They are anxious. They are depressed. They are lonely. That is why we need to end it more than any inconvenience that it's been to the rest of us. I think it's, a, it's, it's like at this point, it's a pandemic of bureaucracy. It's a pandemic of bureaucracy. It's not, it's not real anymore.